the Z15 because it was approximately 15 inches in wingspan and as it says the little kit that never was this was originally designed by the legendary Frank Zake seen with a different model here parts Frank Zake got a couple of boys to make a prototype uh, but he didn't ever kit it so this was a new design as it were um, really published that is in the uh, legendary and sadly now defunct flying models back in October 2011 interesting article by Jim Lucan about how Frank Zake got him when he was a boy to make the prototype Frank Zake was responsible for writing and publishing the model aeronautics yearbooks from 30s and through into the 50s. Now you'll notice there's only one wing half so I have to make another one uh, on top of this one to make sure they're both the same. Standard procedure which I'm now going to do. Then the tissue paper is just stretched over that box or frame, whatever you have, before spraying it. That's now dried into a fairly wrinkle-free sheet of pre-shrunk tissue, which uh, I can now use for covering. So this is coming together now. And I'll just point out a couple of things I had to do that weren't on the plans. First of all, you can see under the wing there, on the pylon at the top, there's a support either side. Because there was no way that that sixteenth of an inch pylon was going to successfully hold the wing. So I had to uh, improvise a bit there. And the other thing was, you'll notice that there are two black pieces and they're plastic covered um, wire they're actually paper clip pieces uh, and they are to keep the wing in shape because again 1 16th wood just sticking it together there's no way that was going to keep its shape not with me doing it anyway um, perhaps someone else would have more success so I super glued some wire bent to the right shape and that's certainly done the trick um, single sided paper as you can see as per instructions hook for the rubber again from a paper clip and I do happen to have this propeller which is similar to as shown on the instructions but bigger so I've got to um, see whether it's too big but I've got some other options but that's um, that's the good bit which is it's the same fitting as on the instructions so hopefully that prop or something similar is going to do the job Gillows. That's the rubber. That I found on eBay. So that's all good. Well, I hope it is. <laughs> it's 3 16 rubber. I'll pre-stretch it and lubricate it as per Don Ross's book to give it a reasonable chance of having a, a longish life. This particular prop's too big, it's about seven inch and need to five and a half or maximum six. But I've got some of these wires, so, um, and the fitting, as I say, is correct. So, I need to look out now for five and a half inch prop. That stick that's bound and glued to the top there, that holds the two pieces of the 
stick fuse lies together. Um, that's supposed to be spruce, didn't have any spruce, so it's hard, very hard also. I think that'll do the trick. I think this is my best option for the prop. Um, let's measure it, see what it comes out at. Yeah, five and three quarters should be five and a half, but that would be fine. 